What's up guys, Curls That Fish. In this video, you're gonna see me catch some fish offshore and get pretty excited. It's only April and they're already out there. They're usually late July if I'm lucky, but they're already out there and I'm excited. I'm catching them on the Nichols, Mag Spoon, and Super Mag Spoon. And in the video, I'm gonna show you how I like to throw it and what works for me. Along with the tutorial of me showing you how to throw this spoon, I'm gonna give you two tips Ow. Two tips on keeping your fish alive. Uh, one in the live well and one at the end of the day when you're releasing them. Uh, most people don't know about the one when you're releasing them, so be sure to take a peek at that one. If you have any questions about anything, let me know guys and I'll help you out. I think they're offshore. <laughs> Catch one on the mag spoon already. This is awesome.
working on a bag if we can get rid of this. Alright guys, this is my how-to video on how I like to throw the Ben Parker Mag Spoon, Super Mag Spoon. I use a Vexen Pro 710, extra heavy, uh, 20 pound fluoro, and a fast gear ratio. Doesn't really matter what make. So, uh, last year, what I done was just kind of flipped it out and fished it in front of me on the spool. So you go down, it'll sink, and it's gonna shoot, flutter, shoot, flutter. The fill it when it hits the bottom. And assuming there's a school here, it's just gentle. Pop it up, feel it, feel it, feel it down. Keep your line pretty tight. And when you get bit, your line's gonna pop and you're gonna feel it. However, this year already, uh, the school's not so tight, so I am casting it. So, kind of figure out where the school's sitting. Cast it out as far as you can. I recommend not throwing against the wind. It's going to shoot, flutter, shoot, flutter on the way down. When it hits the bottom, you're going to know. And then I do a lot different than the pros. You see the pros, they're snatching the coon dog crap out of it. And what I like to do is just work it like a one. Pull it up, feel its way down. Pull it up, feel its way down. When you get bit, you're going to know. You're gonna, the line's going to pop real hard. Also, when they hit it and they miss it, keep doing a little gentle pop. Don't try to slap the crap out of it. You're going to come back for it, I promise. Feel its way down. And just feel it down. That's how I work the spoon. That's what works for me. So, I hope this helps you guys out and uh, let me know how you do. Alright, so to fix these fish, I'm gonna make some flip clips really quick. Two gorilla clips, two two ounce tungstens. And just some braid. belly up and I'll put the Having some clips that aren't rusty helps this process. She should go right there. And she's fixed. Walla kabam! So we got a fish that didn't go down. I'm gonna show you a little trick to. I mean, he wants, he's alive, wants to swim, but he's got his swim bladder full, and none of our other tricks are working. So what you do is you take them, you take your buoy weight, and you close it so it can so it can come out easy. And stick it down where they almost swallow it, like half of it, about like that right there. And you're gonna put them in the water, and they're gonna go nose down, and they'll swim.
swim. They'll, they'll, they'll swim down with it. And just let all the rope out. About 20 foot here. So give me a second. And then when it's at the bottom, just kind of pop it. And you'll feel it come out right there. And pull it back up. No fish, fish is on the bottom, good and alive.